My name is Steve Cannon. I'm the Executive Director of the Gwinnett Environmental Heritage Center. Uh, we are a unique science discovery center. Uh, we have a lot of museum exhibits, but what we focus on is education. And what we try to build are exhibits or features that are beyond the four block walls. So educators can come here and experience how the built environment can work in harmony with the natural environment. We're always interested in projects that are educational and uh, provide a, a public forum for working with children. We have a Junior Master Gardener program, which deals with uh, community gardens and children. So anything where the public is educated, where ecology is in the forefront. This project was a vision of a very progressive uh, chairman at that time and uh, county administrator. And the vision was, was to create a sense of sustainable design. So as we started looking for uh, programs and educational tools to help us fulfill our mission, vision, and values, we came across Aquascapes. And Aquascapes was very intriguing to us because, again, your philosophy of making the built environment work in harmony with the natural environment was spot on. So the equipment, the philosophy, the design of making something look like it had always been there is spot on with where we are. My name is Jeff Prenner with Paradise Ponds and Waterfalls of Atlanta, Georgia. I've been building ponds for about 10 years as a certified Aquascape contractor. My past experiences in public aquariums, so fish, filtration, same kind of stuff really, but now I'm just applying it to outdoor use and you know changing people's lives with water and creating paradises in their backyard. Jeff Krenner with Paradise Ponds has been a great resource. Part of the Aquascapes program and part of what Jeff does is help not only us, but our visitors understand how biological filters work, how plants work, how to build a structure to support habitat, aquatic life. Uh, so from that perspective, it's just been a great resource for us and our educators. The pond that you've done here at the Gwinnett Center is just, just beautiful. The way you've naturalized it, the way you used some native rock, the way you used the native logs, it's really going to make a difference here, especially with educating the kids about you know, what's in this area and, and how they can you know, make things more natural. In the early days before the pond, we had what would be called a native species garden. One of our problems was, was to how to figure out how to address rain harvesting. Uh, when it rained a lot, we got a lot of water right in our front door and we had uh, somewhat of a natural low area. So the natural thought was is to put this pond in there to not only help with rain harvesting, but become a teaching tool that was very accessible. The water feature at the Gwinnett Center was built as a turtle pond and as an outdoor classroom. So it just really turned out fabulous for the teaching opportunity. I know Steve's really excited about it. We see kids up there passing through there every day. The kids pass right through the front door and they just stop and they go crazy when they see Bubba and the turtles in there. So they really seem to enjoy it. Bubba, as you know, is our mascot. Uh, Bubba, now the quality of life that this pond has given this turtle is amazing. Bubba has become an element of education, but it also has become part of the community. People know Bubba. People appreciate Bubba. People appreciate how we are caring for Bubba, but also what it does is it shows what you can do in your own backyard, and I think that's important. Because of the educational aspects, the Gwinnett Heritage Center should see uh, more children coming to it. They should encourage school kids to come out to learn about the pond habitats, to learn about the grasses, the native plants. So I think it will be a gift that keeps on giving. So the whole pond is a great success. It just has truly enriched what we do here, but more importantly, it gave a habitat for our aquatic life that was in an aquarium inside. Sometimes these things just fall in your lap, and this has just been a gift, a true gift, a betterment to our community.